you guys back from the video. So, um, I did say hey, I was gonna do a video on this. So my iPhone six in twenty twenty one. So as you can see, I do have crisp background because I can't wait to set that up. Quick <sighs> suffocation there. Um, I wanted to do a review on it. So as you can see, we're at um solid hundred percent here. God, I'm recording on my seven again. It's not doing its job. Like it never does with the focusing. Yeah, there we go. We are at our 100%. Um, we're going to take and unlock it, I guess. So here we are on our home screen. And I want to do the hardware-based things on here. So I have it in a case right now. I do not want to take it out because it was all dirty. So I'm not going to take it out in this video. Back is its silver phone, as you can see, silver. Silver. Um, camera works great. Actually, I'm not going to lie. It's not great. It's bad. But it gets you your picture, so. I mean, it, it's hard to focus there. But it gets you your picture. You have iOS 12, though. The really, really sucky part about it is the fact that you do have iOS 12. Um, let me just lower the brightness down a centimeter here. It's a little bright. Come on. Come on. It won't let me bring it up. The phone is honestly a huge issue for me. Most of the time. It just doesn't really want to work. Um, other than that, it's pretty great. Um, but this phone isn't focusing right. I gotta click it each time to focus. Um, but as you can see, here it is. Um, we got our settings. We can go in there. As you can see, we are on iOS 12.5.5. About. Here we are. iOS 12.5.5. I noticed an issue with the SIM card there. Um, Put it in. As you can see, I do have a bar right now. As time goes, that bar will go up, down, and then it'll lose it, and then it'll say no service. Then there'll be an empty Wi-Fi icon, but nothing else there. There's just many, many, many things that happen here. Um, anyway, let's do a quick app opening on a few apps here. So FaceTime. There we go. Calendar. There we go. Photos. There we go. Oh, there we go. Camera. There we go. Clock. There we go. Take a little second there. Weather. We're in. We're looking at our weather. Well, we're not loaded yet. It's taking a good bit. There we are. We got maps. We are in. Stocks. So as these apps are taking a while to load. So if I want to open the weather app on my my eleven here, look how much faster this app is. And this is to load every place. Uh, well, I guess this one, but this is slower. No, no, it's way faster. It's already got almost every place loaded. Insane. And the calendar, like, it took that while, long to open the clock app. It's already open on here, essentially. Okay, so let's do the next one. Here we got the App Store. Looks like we're already in. Cool. On here, it takes us this long. We're already in. <laughs> Insane. Insane. I am, like, curious to see why my camera's not working. Anyway. Health. Right here. And we loaded all of our stuff. So I'm gonna get quickly simple and do YouTube. Third party. My dog could have pooped on the floor by this time. Looks like we're in. Nice. Um, we're going to do one minute. So we're at 100% battery. Watch till I do one minute of TikTok recording. See there? 100% battery. We're going to open our TikTok app. See what we have after that. Oh, shoot. We ain't even logged in. Are you kidding? Oh no, latest TikTok update. Skip. Get out of here. Okay, let's do one minute TikTok recording. I guess we're not going to do We're just going to open the camera app, see how long it takes. Um, we're up, we're recording. Um, I can click record and start recording. I'm going to use the back camera though, for instance. So we're gonna, it's really slow, as you can see. Hard to film TikTok. 
three minutes flash and record. But guys, so we are filming a TikTok on the iPhone 6. Um, here's how it is. The flash is pretty bright. Um, you can see the phone pretty greatly. Um, you can see I can take video around. Let's get some other loud noises here. Pretty loud. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to end it now and see what our battery is when we're done reviewing it. The flash is pretty bright. Pretty good. Um, you can see the phone pretty greatly. Uh, you can see I can take video around. Let's get some other loud noises here. Pretty loud. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna end it now and see what our bad record. Right, so, guys. So we um, next ninety three. No, that's how fast it, let's see. Look at that battery. That's how quick it died off. Sometimes I, and that was like 15 seconds. I, if I want, I can go in and film a three minute TikTok. My battery will be at 10. But I'm going to go show you guys something when it concludes that statement. So my six is the phone that's about to have a failed battery. As you can see, it already says, since my camera ain't doing my job, I got to click it each time. It already says service, I click it. And we got 81. Um, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> and we got a lot of stuff saying it's going to shut off. But then over here we got my 11. Oh, wrong thing. Um, battery health. 81, we don't got no shutdown performance notifications. Very, very weird there. Oh, there's our service issue again. Right? Oh, now it's gone again. It just won't focus. But yeah, it's having issues up there. Something with a SIM card, though. I don't use a SIM in here anyway. Um, okay, what do we want to do? I don't know if I... I don't got any games on here. Honestly, it was just, I'm just testing some of the software on it. Some of the stuff I got. Um, we hit 92 there. But yeah, my 6, as you can tell... I didn't... Oh, there's the Wi-Fi. Just the Wi-Fi in the corner. Um, but my 6 is pretty damaged. There's cracks. As you can see, there's cracks on it right up there in the corner um so yeah pretty crazy pretty bad not too bad though actually it's not horrendous it works fine um now let's see if i can close out of these sheesh there okay so you want to um you know what am i trying to do here you want to call someone how's it gonna go Uh, okay, that's not my number. I just don't want to show whoever's number that is, so. I mean, I can't call on here, but this is all it takes to complete the call. So, yeah, it says calling. I'm going to end it now because I just don't want anything to happen weirdly. You got a lot of your apps on here. You got a lot of your stuff. Um, you can take videos in iMovie and edit them. There's a quite a bit of things you can do. So let's open Snapchat, see how that opens and records. We'll also scroll through with some effects here. So I'm going to start recording now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and keep on flipping this. This should um, test the phone's capabilities to do things, but I can do this in instant seconds. This one's taking some time to complete this process. Other than that, we are pretty good. Um, I can actually film, and you can see, I am actually filming the video. I'm recording this on my 7 that I made a review of yesterday. Um, and I was recording it on my 11 Pro Max the day before. Um, so we can go in and keep doing this. We are at 90% now, other than 91 and 92. So it did go down a little bit, but it didn't go down too much. Um, I can keep doing this even faster and faster. As you can see, the cameras are dimmer now um, because of the fact that we are doing this this fast. I mean, I can go even faster there. And there we go. 
And I'm gonna wait until the video clip is over because hey, you gotta wait the whole time out. Um, Alright, looks like it's there. We're gonna see how long it takes to save. Keep on flipping this. This should um, test the phone's capabilities to do things, but I can do this in instant seconds. This one's All right, it looks like it is hazy. This process. Other than that, we are pretty. So great, we saved that video. What if you want to use an effect on Snapchat? How does it work? Okay, so I want to find a simple effect. This is just like this. How can I take and record? Okay, it looks like it is leggy. I don't know if that's part of this theme, since it's like an older theme. Or what, but if I click close there, it's a little slow. A little leggy when I go to scroll through all my stuff right here. Um, but it gets it done, I guess. So yeah, look at our battery just dropping as we do this. We are at 86 now. But your iPhone 6 may have a better battery health than mine. So that keeps in mind. Um, now you could take and um, open voice memos. Let's see how that goes. Because I filmed a long voice memo. I filmed actually a voice memo all night on this phone. Where is the app? Voice memos. Voice memos, right there, oh shoot, I hate voicemail. Voice memos. And you can see my screen is just oof, oof. Screwed up. All right, so there we are, let's play this. Okay, it rendered all the way through. Pretty great, pretty great. Um, now if we open messages, as you can see, you get all your stuff. Some random stuff in here, I gotta erase this phone. Um, you get all your stuff, pretty cool. Loads up pretty quick. Um, if I go to my 11 here, and I want to send a few texts, how will it make it? Okay, so what is it here? Work I6. Okay, so as you can see, looks like both these pictures are through. So we are gonna take and immediate. Okay. Now, if we take a picture, go ahead and send that over. Okay, it looks like we got the line. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Um. That video is going to take a while, so I'm not going to do that. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Now I can take and view that in full quality as well. Um, there's my iPhone 6 home screen right there. Pretty dang cool. On both phones. Although this was last night before I went to bed at 11.02. And the battery was at 100. Um, but I can get out of there and go um, take a picture on camera. You can do all this, you know. Back camera takes pictures slow. Front camera takes pictures good. Uh, oh, oh, shut that off. Okay, now we want to test it on here. So, what's going to do it? We're going to do our photo. I'd say it's slower than the 6. Yeah, it's a lot slower than the 6. But there's a reason for it. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. There's no reason to do that or to need to do that. If you need to burst photos, you do this. There you go. You're already at 70. You're already up to 150, 120. You're at 180. You want to stop. You want to go view your pictures. You look at it. And they're preparing. It says burst 180 photos. Pretty cool, right? That's how it works. Um, you go back to it. You select. You select your... Or no. Yeah, you select. And then you just can scroll through them. 
See that? Pretty cool. It's like an actual video. And if you want to take and delete those, you take and delete those. It, it, it lags and then goes and adds and do that. Very, very cool. Um, so another couple things there that we want to go over is, you know, how can you go on Safari on this phone? This will happen from being my iPhone 6 to a performance version. But yeah, my iPhone 6 has got a screen protector. Um, cracked screen. This is not the cracked screen protector. It's actually the cracked screen. So if we want to go to Apple, it's going to load us immediately. Although it takes a bit, actually. Never mind. But if I go to Google, watch how fast. And this is on the 6. If your phone has trouble loading the site, I'm not even talking about the pictures or not. I'm talking about loading the site. You've got to get a new phone. iPhone 6 wallpaper is pinned. Let's see. So it's bringing up all the images, and it's not bad for it. Um, as you can see, we are in. We got iPhone 6 Wallpaper 3 download 58 gig on Splash. We'll click it, and there we are. I'm afraid I'm going to get banned for, like, copyright or something. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Um, very, very great. Um, I can take and... Screen record my home screen. Oh. Go ahead and send that over to me. So I'm screen recording my home screen on my iPhone 6, you guys. And but Hello? Why did you do that? I finished it. Sorry, guys. Anyway, oh, now I gotta redo that part. Alright, cut. I guess so. If I wanna screen record, I can do that. So I'm screen recording right now, and I'm gonna send this video over to my 11 Pro Max. Um, so yeah, I'm screen recording on my iPhone 6 right now. Pretty cool. Okay, that video saved. Now it's 16 seconds. I want to send it to my other phone. How will it be done? Messages. Oh, it's so slow, you guys. This phone, it sucks. I'm honestly telling you the truth. Okay, we're going to hit send. Ready? Send. Now we're going to go back into here. Yeah, don't mind why I have 931 there. Okay, messages. Okay, so it looks like this one is red 610 and these ones are loading. Already sent. Already here. And as you can see, you can view these videos in good qualities. So I'm screen recording right now and I'm going to send this video over to my 11. Pro Max. Um, so yeah, I'm screen recording on my iPhone 6 right now. Pretty cool. So that comes to prove microphone quality. It's pretty great. I'm in microphones on this phone. I want to make a quick announcement about how my iPhone 6 works with microphones. If I come in the camera app, and hey, start recording in the um, camera app here. Um, you guys are going to notice something. When I'm recording, you should get audio. Listen to the video. Yeah, so that's the video. You don't hear nothing. You got to use my camera. Now, this was when I was like, four, like eight, and I had this phone, and I dropped it. Microphone quit. In the front camera. I've lived with it and it's fine. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I mean, not cool, that's pretty bad. Um, but other than that, my phone works great. I mean, this speaker thing up here is pretty actually scratched. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. The little speaker thing right up there on the top area is pretty scratched up. Um, I don't know, I'm, I think that's just supposed to be like that. Um, but yeah. So as you can see here, we got 60 frames per second scrolling. Um, it's not smooth. It's n not any different than my 11, though. 
the twelve the twelve is the exact same as my eleven and the six. Um, it's just the thirteens that have the new refresh rate. Um, so we're gonna do a quick boot up test on it and not compare it to not. And I just want to see how quick it can do each process. So we're going to hold the power button. It takes an unusual time on mine because it doesn't respond to the power button that quick. But all right, it's off. Um, it's going to power down and we'll wait till. Oh, it's already off? Oh no, you can still see the screen pixels when you. Okay, there. We got loading. Okay, now it's off. You usually want to wait a little bit because it's still working on powering things down. If you go and click it right away, it ain't going to really change much. So we're going to turned on right now. Looks like it's on. Now let's see how unusual this would be. Let's say you're just waiting to get your phone on or someone you're waiting to get your phone on so someone can add a number or something. Just an example. And how long are you gonna, you're going to be awkwardly sitting there? My phone I've ha happened to me many times with this phone. It turns on within 10 seconds so it's nothing big. Very great actually. And that's not bad either. Honestly, some days it's a lot worse. Today it wasn't too bad. We can unlock this just like that. And we're already in. We just gotta wait for our internet to load up there. But it gets in pretty quick. Sometimes you can't use the actual internet for a few minutes after until like the phone's completely ready. Until it checks everything. But if you do have cellular data, you can use that right after. Just takes a minute for the Wi-Fi to actually work for some services. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's this phone, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of damage, like the screen and everything, but it honestly works pretty good. Um, let's see if the battery health changed at all. I don't, it really changes mostly when you update it again, but it's kind of running out of updates, so you don't get as frequent as updates as if you were to update your phone, because when you update your phone, it rechecks. And when you can't update it, it just checks on certain conditions. So it's obviously when it, it when it might unexpectedly shut down again, it might check again. I don't know if that's what it does or not, but I know it's lower than 81 because it changed from 89 to 81 after I got that notification. I haven't got one since, um, like yesterday, and it still hasn't changed. But I know it's a little bit below 81. Bad, my battery's actually at 71, and I've been filming for 22 minutes. That's pretty sad. So yeah, that's that. This phone is, honestly, it's still, I mean, I can, you can do your stuff. You can do everything you need. Um, you got your control center stuff. You don't got nothing like on iOS 15. Like, you don't got your focus modes. Which I've found to be really, I was wondering why, alright, a little story. I was wondering why when I went to school today, because I sneak my phone around my pocket. Like every person does these days. Um, and like this, I have this thing set up in my settings to turn on automatically. Well, it wasn't. And then I realized I was sharing my location from my iPhone 7. So yeah, make sure you're sharing it from your device and not one of your other devices. Because that will cause that. And I think you can have the same thing. I think you can like schedule this. Let's see. I don't know if you can put it to where it's on a specific area though. So that can be, that's a plus about the focus modes is you can have it turn on automatically. So right as you get to that certain address, it turns right on. Um, you can set do not disturb to um, till you leave this location, but you can't set it to automatically turn on when you get to that location. So this phone, I'm going to turn back on this. Um, but yeah, that's that. Pretty cool. That's just a cool thing about focus modes. And they transfer to all your devices as well. So that was a cool thing announced with iOS 15. You can create new ones. Um, you can pick any emoji you want. So these were all the default ones in there. Do not disturb personal work sleep. But I think the only actual default one was do not disturb. I think you can remove all of them. Except do not disturb. Actually that's a good question. Let me do new focus really quick. Um, driving. Yeah, you can delete driving. You cannot delete do not disturb. So you can see there's no option to delete that. But you can even delete driving. You can delete, I think you can delete sleep. Yeah, you can delete sleep. 
And obviously, like, school, I created this. I can delete that. Work can be deleted. Only one that can't be is do not disturb. Pretty cool. That's your default. So basically, just do not disturb. As all the tech YouTubers say, do not disturb on steroids, which is probably true. Because um, you do have do not disturb, but you got a lot more. It also tells your um, friends. Like, I don't know. It's happened with me a couple times with one of my friends. But... Yeah, it'll tell them if your phone is set on Do Not Disturb. I can't really demonstrate that right now um, because I don't have Do Not Disturb on my 7. But, so here's the options. So it says share focus status right there. So when you have that on, that person can see if you have focus mode on. I leave it on, so if someone texts me, they know that I'm busy or I'm like, the only way I don't respond is if I'm in school, but I, half the time I text anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I just have that on anyway, because it's pretty nice to have on there. I mean, just, you know, but you can't do nothing like that on here. So if I go back to me, In info. Yeah, see, so you get the same two options that you get on here. You get the um, hide alerts and send red receipts, but you don't get the uh, share focus status, which kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> but a lot of people hate it, but they you can turn that off. So that's not a worry with iOS 15 or nothing. Um, that's that, though. This phone is very outdated in software. Very, very outdated. Um, my 11 here has, uh, we already are on iOS 15, there's no updates available, I don't think, I don't think they're, yeah, it's Tuesday, they haven't released anything today, um, iOS 15.1, there's our build number, but on here, we're stuck, huh, all the way back with iOS 12.5.5, it's still a final though, so as you can see here, our build number there is 16H62, and right here it's 19B74. Um, so there's some changes, but yeah, so that's the comparison between kind of my iPhone 6, my 11, um, but you can tell the 6 is getting, getting, it's very, very old, but it's getting unusable. Um, I already know I can't download a few apps from the App Store on it. It's, <coughs> it's getting to that year of that, of this phone where it's just getting old, and you can tell how it's getting a little old there. Um... I mean, it, it gets your stuff done. I know a couple people who have it. They don't like it. You don't want it as a main phone. I mean, it works fine as my extra phone. That's great, but I would never know until I had to use it for a day. I mean, you can do this. Let's see if it's the same as on here. Okay, so I set both of them down. Okay, I'd say that's the same. Pretty much, because you can't really get this perfect. Oh, no, I don't know. That's a little off. I mean, they're both pointing the same direction. Maybe if I move this. Okay, now let's move them over. Yeah, that's a, they're a little different there. I don't know if that's something to do with me needing to do something. Else. They are a little different. See how that follows on the camera when you do it? That's how you know it's following perfectly. Let's see if this one does it. Yeah, I mean, it does it. I mean, it's not lagging because it is smoothly following. When you go too fast, it's going to obviously not work. But it gets your job done, honestly. It, you can, it works. I mean, it's going to tell you your rough direction. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, this is my iPhone 6. It is a silver uh, 6. It's Oh, I mean, it's a space gray 6 because it's black. Um, um, but, the yeah, it's space gray on the back. The silver ones are a little lighter on the back. But this is probably the silver color by now. It's six years, seven years old. I've had it for seven years. We bought it in 2015. <sighs> Holy crap. So that's that. Um, it's still, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. It's crazy. But yeah, that's that. So this phone is... It's the 67 after this full video. Horrendous. Horrendous. It was only 30 minutes long. 30 minutes and we're already at this. 
That's roughly disappointing. I'm not even going to lie about it. Alright, anyway guys, peace out.